The scary part was when you go to the mash, they cut off all your clothes and you don't really know what's happening. And you think you're gonna die. All those thoughts <clears throat> of panic that you're never gonna see your family, that this was it. You're gonna serve and you're gonna die. My name is Connie Johnson. I served with the United States Army as a military police officer at Fort Campbell, Kentucky from 2002 to 2005. I deployed one year to Iraq in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003. In January of 2004, I was hit with shrapnel um, from an IED explosion. It hit me from the back of the neck and went forward, um, and it nearly took my life. The only thing that saved me was I was looking the opposite direction. It turns out that when the shrapnel hit me, it cut my neck open so wide it severed several nerves in my neck, which gave me um, partial facial paralysis. Um, they were able to sew up the damage to my neck and they actually had a satellite phone that I was able to call home and told them that I was fine, that everything was gonna be fine. So that was a pretty traumatic experience. It was less than a week and I was back up in the truck, back up in the gunner. So after I came back from Iraq, I had um, visions of just random things blowing up in my face, like the microwave and the stove. Um, pumping gas was very scary. My mind and my body went into a panic that these things are going to blow up in my face and hurt me. And when I got out in 2005, PTSD was very taboo. I was not going to be one of those people that said I had PTSD, so I hid it. When I caught wind of Warfighter Scuba, I knew that that was something for me. I heard about it through another Purple Heart recipient that had gone down, and he got me in touch with Nick Powers, who's the CEO and creator of Warfighter Scuba, and it was just a few months later that we were down here in the beautiful country of Honduras learning how to scuba dive. Coming down here was absolutely amazing. It's very hot, but the ocean is fantastic and it's extremely, extremely beautiful. Going under the water was a very hard thing for me because it's not natural to want to breathe underwater. Nick was there and he, he said we can be here as long as it takes. It's okay. And that was very helpful because it allowed me to centralize my thoughts. It was fantastic going into the ocean for the first time. It was scary. But being able to, to descend into the water and then see the life around you was pretty amazing. One of the best things that I saw was one of the sea turtles. When you were under the water, there's no worries for that. And it's just peace. And that's hard. <laughs>